Let's jump. Many of you have heard of the Super Nintendo PlayStation prototype that was unearthed back in 2015. You see, before Sony dove into the video game console world, they were working on a CD add-on to the Super Nintendo that would attach to the bottom of the unit. All it would ultimately provide was just audio CD playback and a lot of extra storage, but still, it would have been pretty sweet. Secret of Mana was even originally developed to be the first SNES CD title. Nintendo was so into this idea that they were also working with Philips for the same kind of thing, which pissed off Sony to the point that they just went ahead and decided to release it as their own thing, the PlayStation. More information on this whole fiasco can be found in the description below. Anyway, I'm telling you all this because a couple people actually made a Super Nintendo PlayStation CD game titled Super Boss Gaiden. It works with the uh, one SNES PlayStation prototype out there, but there is just a regular ROM you can get to play this on a normal Super Nintendo emulator or flash cartridge. The link is in the description. For what it's worth, the CD image is also available for download as well. The game itself is very, very short. Don't go into this one expecting a lot, but what's there is both fun and laugh out loud funny. It's an action platform where you play as Boss, the head of Sony, who had ordered every SNES PlayStation prototype be destroyed. However, one managed to get out into the public, and of course it's been emulated already, and people are already making games for it! This must be what those darn kids refer to as meta. This sends Boss into a rage so severe he starts punching, kicking, and throwing everything in sight while his subordinates are helpless to stop him, providing lots of funny dialogue. As you can clearly see, the look, sound, and feel of this game is purposefully derivative, but in the best possible way. The Boss character controls and moves like someone out of the Kunio Kun or River City Ransom series, and there's an endless number of references and cameos here. There's Sackboy from Little Big Planet, Parappa the Rapper, a bunch of different Japanese mascots for the Famicom and Satellaview. Even in the music, when you pause the game, it's Queen's Another One Bites the Dust. The controls are about what you'd expect, but there's a lot you can do. Double tapping forward and back has you dash, add down to that and you can slide, A punches and A plus up is an uppercut, Y grabs and throws whatever's around you, and you can also double jump. You can unleash some fun combos with this setup, which is a good time. And to stay alive, you have to keep your heart rate up, represented by the meter below, and you keep that filled by creating as much destruction as possible. The level design here is well done, with Sony's headquarters being laid out as a bit of a maze, forcing you to wall jump and and do some other tricks to get around. Again, I have to point out that this game is only about 15 to 20 minutes long, and that's really the only flaw here. Otherwise, for a game made by two people, Germany's Chrono Moogle and Dieter von Laser, this is as fun and as funny of a game as you could ask for. And hey, it's a free download, you can't argue with that. So yeah, this is just a short video saying, hey, this game exists, it's fun, and it's free. Go check it out, and have a good rest of your day. Thank <laughs> you.